Yeah, the hey everybody, what's good? Cody here. Um, so first, I want to start off by saying forgive the audio quality and my voiceover. I don't know how bad it sounds. Hopefully, it don't sound too bad. <laughs> I've been having problems with my headset, so I'm, I'm happy to record uh, from the microphone in the PS5 controller. Not ideal, but hey, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Anyway, that being said, I wanted to share with uh, something that I had stumbled across in uh, while I was playing Dragon's Dogma 2 recently. It, it, so. Uh, you know, I don't know how familiar people might or might not be with the map in the game. There are two primary regions in the game. There's the kind of more European looking area of Vermont, like, like all the grassy knolls and hills and the forests and all that. Um, and then there's the desert region of Batal, where the um, cat-like beastrin people come from, uh, predominantly at least. In between those regions, there are checkpoint towns kind of like this. Um, well, I know there's one for sure. <laughs> this one. I don't know if there might be others in the game. There is possibly. Um, and there are a couple other little routes that you can find into the desert region of Batal um, to avoid having to come across a checkpoint and present a pass to move through the checkpoint. Um, like I didn't have here, obviously. <laughs> uh, 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 but I don't want to spoil those uh, different ways in if you haven't found them yet. This is specifically about the trick I use right here to get through the checkpoint itself. Which I think is really great. The game allows you to do this. Um, it, I, I do believe it is intentional. I don't think it's an exploit. Um, although I could be mistaken. But either way. <laughs> uh, so you can ride an ox cart through. It has to be these covered ones here specifically. Um, and I'll go ahead and let it play out so you can see how I do it. And then we can talk about it afterwards. This is fucking amazing. Game of the year. Holy shit. 10 out of 10. <laughs> I didn't think it would work. I was thinking about it while I was standing up there. Oh my god, I can't believe this shit worked. This is fucking amazing. Okay, so obviously I really enjoyed that. <laughs> but I find it entertaining in the moment. I was really excited about it. Um, and I'll explain why briefly. Um, I enjoy a lot when games let you use the systems and mechanics that are in the game to kind of come up with alternative solutions or outside of the box workarounds or solutions to obstacles in the game itself. Um, and I do think that that is what was happening. I don't think it was like a glitch or an exploit. Um, but I could be wrong. That being said, let me know how Y'all experiences have been with Dragon's Dogma 2. Um, did you find any other kind of workarounds and little tricks to, to overcome things in the game? Um, had you come across the little uh, ox cart trick before I shared it here? Or maybe it's new to you. I mean, let me know in the comments what you think, how you've been enjoying the game. I know I've been enjoying it because um, I love talking about that stuff. Uh, so, you know, like and subscribe if you'd like to. Comment, share your opinions, your thoughts. It's always good fun. Catch you on the next one. I'm going to everybody. PlayStation.